Over the past few years, the issue and linkage between water and human rights has become a very, very important issue. It came back recurrently at various sessions of the World Water Fora, and in many regards it, it was a, an item that has uh, divided views. Uh, there was a, a fairly large group of countries, particularly from the developing countries and particularly from Latin America, that insisted upon the fact that uh, uh, right to water is a, is a very important issue and as such uh, must be declared by uh, governments all over the world. So it was a long, long gestation period up until the United Nations General Assembly last uh, July, July the 27th more uh, precisely, has adopted a resolution which is a non-binding resolution uh, that deals with uh, access to water and sanitation as a part of the uh, human rights. Earlier, the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations has made a statement whereby uh, they uh, derived from legal principles that this is uh, this could be derived the right to, to water and sanitation from the Universal Declaration of Human uh, Rights. But the General Assembly resolution that was uh, instigated by Bolivia, and remember Bolivia, we had the, this big conflict, uh, urban conflict in Cochabamba, which led to uh, a riot. That government was very, very sensitive about uh, this issue. So they have uh, put together a, a resolution which finally went for voting. 144 countries have uh, voted for it, uh, and some uh, some 40 or so, 41, uh, were uh, abstention. There was nobody against it. Basically, what the resolution says is that the United Nations General Assembly recognizes the right to safe and clean drinking water and sanitation as a human right that is essential for the full enjoyment of life and all human rights. A couple of months later, and, uh, and the discussion went on, the uh, United Nations had a special rapporteur on this item. The special re rapporteur has uh, submitted her report to the Human Rights Council uh, of, of the General Assembly, which on September the 30th has uh, adopted a resolution on human rights and access to safe drinking water and sanitation, which affirmed the principles which are laid out by the July General Assembly uh, resolution. Let me just uh, read a, a statement from the UN independent expert uh, on this breakthrough, uh, legal recognition of water and sanitation affirmed by the UN. She says, uh, Katarina de Albuquerque, she says, quote, this means that for the UN, the right to water and sanitation is contained in existing human rights treaties and therefore is legally binding. And that is a major, major departure and an advance and step ahead, I believe, into the uh, right direction of this uh, long debate. Don't forget that uh, uh, right to sanitation uh, is, is a very important issue, in particular in the light of the fact that 80% of the diseases are all waterborne or water-related. 50% of the hospital beds all over the, the world are occupied by patients who are there because of water and sanitation, or rather the lack of appropriate sanitation. You can live without oil for a week, you can live without internet for a week, you can live without many things for a week, but you just can't live without water for a week. And that is encapsulated in, in, in this major uh, resolution which recognizes access to water and sanitation as a part of the basic human rights.